In this video, I'm going to share three reasons why I don't like to use phone cameras. Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and I'm a photographer. And in this video, I'm going to share three reasons why I don't like to use phone cameras. And as always, I'd like to hear your opinion too. So please do share it in the comments down below after you have watched this video. And I'm also going to share some pictures, some photographs in this video. And all these photographs are shot on a phone camera, some sort of phone camera over the years. A few weeks ago, I published a video about travel photography on the Ricoh GR3X camera. And I got a comment for that video saying that those pictures could have been taken on a phone camera. But I don't think that's true. Someone probably could have taken very similar pictures on a phone camera. Those pictures didn't have any content or technical aspects that would have been impossible to do on a phone camera. But I couldn't have taken them on a phone camera or I would not have taken them on a phone camera simply because I don't really like to use my phone camera that much. Of course, I use my phone camera, but I don't really love to take uh, any kind of serious pictures on a phone camera. And many of those pictures wouldn't probably even exist if I was only using a phone camera. The number one reason why I don't like to use phone cameras is the ergonomics. Even a small camera like this, like the Ricoh GI3X, is so much nicer to handle than a phone camera. There's a little bit of grip even on a small camera like this. There are proper dials if I happen to need any dials and a proper on-off switch and everything. And it is just so much nicer to to handle in every way and I feel that I'm always more ready to take the picture if I see something picture worthy in front of me. But that is of course very personal. Almost five years ago I was in Vietnam uh, on a very small boat traveling quite fast to one of the islands off the south coast of Vietnam. And on that same boat, there was a young lady from Taiwan and she must have taken hundreds, if not thousands of pictures during that but 40 minute boat trip. And I had to admire her ability to handle her uh, phone camera or phone in general. And if I tried to do the same, my phone would be probably in the bottom of the sea somewhere off the coast of Vietnam right now. And she probably never even thought about using a real camera, even a small camera like this. And she probably would have felt that a real camera is holding her back because it's another separate device. And the second reason not to like phone cameras is that uh, I don't like everything to be on one device. I already have pretty much all my life on my phone. I have my social media, my uh, emails, my all my friends, my contact information, my, my online banking, and I can control my even my YouTube channel on my phone and I can do everything on my phone. I feel that it's a little bit too much already as it is, so I prefer to have my photography or at least my camera on a separate device. And call me old fashioned, but I feel a little bit, maybe a little bit safer when my phone is in my pocket and my camera is in my hand when I'm out there in public taking pictures. And I almost never need or have to share a picture right after I press the shutter. The only such situations are when I need a second opinion. Uh, I may take a picture of something and then I send it over to a friend or my wife and ask what uh, they think about it and uh, that's it. But if I take a real photograph, then I almost never need to share it right away. The third reason for me not to like phone cameras is the image quality. And of course, in most cases, the image quality is good enough on every, almost every 
camera phone or phone camera because most of my pictures and probably most of your pictures also is going to be published on some sort of social media. My pictures end up um, in my videos and um, yeah, pretty much every phone camera is good enough for that. But sometimes it's nice to admire the detail and the somehow the image quality uh, that you get from a big sensor camera. And sometimes I also want to post-process my pictures a little or fine-tune the tonality. And in those cases, it's really nice uh, if the image quality or the quality of the picture file is not holding me back. And sometimes also these smartphone camera pictures, they look a little bit synthetic or over-processed because of all, all the computational photography that is going on. And I have nothing fundamentally against computational photography. And I'm also aware that all digital pictures, even from these so-called real cameras or big sensor cameras, all pictures, digital pictures are processed pictures. But some pictures are more processed or they look more processed than others. And I think that once in a while it's, um, or most of the time, it's uh, great to see a little bit more natural looking pictures um, that I get from um, these real cameras. And even though I don't really like using a phone camera, I still admire these devices and I admire all those photographers who can create amazing pictures on these uh, smartphone cameras. But for me, at least for now, a real camera is the, the device. But of course, the future is in mobile cameras or phone cameras and uh, maybe the future after future is not even in phone cameras. Maybe after a while we don't even need a camera. We just dictate or type what we want and some sort of AI will create the picture we want. So uh, maybe a camera, any camera becomes some sort of optional device if you want to make a photo or photo looking picture. But what about you? Do you prefer a smartphone camera or a real camera? Or do you think that cameras can become redundant in the future when AI can create all the pictures that we ever want? Please let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.